Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing an assumptions video. I went on to my WhatsApp statuses. I went on to my Instagram. About me. So let's just get straight into it. So the first assumption is, oh, by the way, I want them here. And this amazing, amazing, amazing the diary of mine. It's just so, it's so nice, man. Oh, it's nice. So I wrote them here and the first assumption is you don't like people i do like people i believe i'm a people's person but i think i have my own type of people like my own preference because guys you can't be mixed masala with everybody let's just be honest you have your own you know people that you vibe with yeah so i do love people i'm a people's person you know but i don't like rude people don't be rude i don't like rude people i don't i don't i don't okay second one is you're a rich kid <laughs> no well i believe that my parents taught me how to manage money well and how to make money you know and my parents really got me into that groove of being independent and going into entrepreneurship. So I wouldn't say I'm a rich kid. I'm a hustler. That's that's what I can say, guys. Like I wouldn't say that I come or come from a well-off family. I am I'm from a well-off family, but it's because of this thing up here in mindset you know so yeah ah third one you prefer rich niggas no man i don't i wouldn't say i prefer rich niggas but i'd prefer someone who is doing something with their life either be hustling be working you know as long as you're doing something don't be sitting at home share a little tv fair like day in day out you're not making any notes on how to go about your hustle you know not making any notes about like you know getting elevating yourself so i prefer someone who's actually doing something you can be working can be working from home but be doing something with your life don't be sitting at home with the first on tv day in day out to go now you know don't do that um you're a cry baby i wouldn't classify it as being a cry baby but i would say i'm an emotional person like I'm very intact with my emotions. I, if something hurts me too much, I will cry. I will let it out. You know, I best know how to handle things if I let them out. I can't harbor things in. I really can't do that. If I'm feeling angry and I'm thinking about it, I'm going to end up going on my knees. I pray. I cry. I let it out. I feel better. Because I believe that some things are better out than in. So, I wouldn't say I'm a cry baby. Like, I just know how to deal with things better when I cry. Um, you think boys are delicious? Ah! In your mind! I wouldn't know. <laughs> wow, guys. Hi, man. Guys, how are boys delicious? Delicious? Uh, next one is you know a lot of people but you have few friends which is true I know a lot of people like I know a lot of people like my friends really get annoyed maybe we're on campus and them. few seconds later I'm greeting someone else a few seconds later I'm greeting someone else but I keep my circle very small. I know a lot of people, but second Indian, which is important. Yeah. You eat very weird combos. Maybe two or three combos, la ponyana. But yeah, the combos quite noodles, ne? Especially Durban curry noodles, ne? With 
with mayonnaise on the side. Mzala. Yo. And a combo. Put some coffee on the side. Or coke. Yo. Or noodles, man. Get him Zala. Gonna tell Zala. Noodles with Nutella. Chicken noodles with Nutella. your soulmate today you would be married I'd be happy that I met my soulmate and I'd be ecstatic it's okay yeah this is the person that I'm gonna marry but I wouldn't marry them right away because marriage is very it's a big thing it's not all glitz and glamour and matching outfits matching cars you know it's not all that there's so much more to it and i believe that you should really get to know a person first before you can jump into anything serious get to know the person first you know the joys of getting to know someone is really amazing like you just get to know about their fears their past you know um what makes them happy what makes them sad just getting to know a person is really amazing and i don't think that you should skip that step and jump straight into marriage because ah this is my soulmate get to know the person first you know get to know their mindset how do they think how do they reason how do they treat other people you know because they can be all nice to you lana the next thing one figure is true and the most level are yeah so get to know the person first before you can be hands on and close on and baby son close skin inside this, that one you know get to know the person first first you never know you might learn a lot and it's just really nice just getting to know a person totally there's so many things that you guys have in common you know your values your mindset totally y'all are business minded and you guys just come up with ideas business ideas oh let's do this oh let's do that let me help you with that oh let me help you with your assignment oh no let's let's pray about the situation oh guys yeah so get to know the person first before you can jump into anything serious you know like marriage you know so yeah i i wouldn't be married right away to my soulmate i'd get to know them first because i love that interaction of getting to know the person um you're impatient i would say i am no nah? but i'm learning to be patient because I think as you grow and the more you experience things, the more you witness things, the more you come into contact with different types of souls, you need to learn to be patient, especially with yourself. Give yourself time. Don't rush yourself. You know, everything works within perfect timing. So don't be like, you know, I need to do this now. I need to do this. No. Sharp, set goals for yourself, but also give yourself time, you know. So, I'm learning that beauty. You know what? Tell you, there's no rush, you know, you still have your life ahead of you, you know. So, don't rush into anything, be patient. Not everything is microwave, in fact, nothing in life is microwave. You don't just press the button like dee, 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 da, da. Mercedes, kill, vroom, are no you work towards it you know and you working towards it is being patient with yourself it's okay i'm doing this and i'm doing this i'm being patient with myself i'm not rushing myself into anything but i'm giving myself time you know give yourself time don't be harsh on yourself and i think that's the mistake we do you are being too harsh on yourself because you're looking at it. everybody else with you at this age give yourself time be patient so knowing me i'm a very impatient person but my granny always told me that patience is a virtue and that is one person that i look up to so yeah be patient man i'm learning that's really um 
you only speak to people you know as you're quiet around strangers yeah obviously because i mean you figure one do you need to figure so papa and she has been so so now the next thing was a punk look there when also papa and so figure so so just you know so obviously you must get to feel the vibe first get to know the people that are here or figure come correctly you know or figure gosh you're gonna figure you're just so ha charlie no you know so obviously i am a bit shy and quiet around strangers until i get to feel the vibe until i get to you know you must cover things first but you must survive to survive you know so i cover the, the things gashi and then i adjust you know, and then i can talk gashi open up you know and be friendly okay obviously i am friendly but you know just be open because so was a two and then and then when you know so you don't want to be that person not that you trying to please people but just come in a correct manner you know yeah that's what i think all right i thought you were self-centered at first though <laughs> i think this happens a lot i get this a lot actually i don't know is it the way i act the way i look you know all of us look very mean you know until we smile and then like oh she's so cute she's so pretty you know so yeah it happens i also do that to people like yo she looks so mean yo she looks unapproachable you know until you actually get to know the person i feel like once you get to know the person then you're just like oh wow he's such a nice person wow yes he me they thoughtful they kind you know so it happens man it, it really does and the last one you're such an amazing person <laughs> and you're so genuine i think oh, thank you firstly thank you just being yourself you know some things just come naturally you just become kind you become a joyful person you just open up and g when you are yourself because you're not trying to be someone else you know so i think just being myself is what really helps me to just flourish you know all these qualities and jay they just come out because i get this a lot that you're so nice you're so genuine i'm not blowing my own trumpet but i'm just saying and yeah people just say i'm really nice you know but it just comes with being yourself you know when you are yourself you attract people that actually like you for you you know so yeah i just i'm just myself i yeah zino wuti you know here yeah. zino wuti do you understand la obvious zino wuti you see so i am myself so i attract people that are gonna love me for me and that is where i show my true self the genuine person that i am the thoughtful person the kind person that i am so yeah and these are the assumptions that i got and thank you for tuning in to my channel see you guys on the next video stay home stay safe don't forget to wear your mask when you go out don't forget to sanitize Guess I'm a Santa. Bye, guys.